All right. Oop, sorry about that. Okay, so we are live on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens, and we are live today to mostly test out the uh, YouTube Live function, but also to take a look at the same time at the uh, brand new online Switch Plus. And this is a brand new model that we started to carry this year. We wanted to take a look at it compared with other pens in a similar price range and of a similar type of quality here. So from left to right, we have Alami Safari in the Neon Lime. We have the Online Switch Plus. We have the Caveco Sport in Burgundy. And we have the Pilot Metropolitan. And as you might be able to guess from all of the notes that I had here, I was kind of preparing a longer form video, but wanted to at least kind of do like a quick video on just this pen in comparison with the other guys here, uh, just to kind of test out the format and see if this is something that you guys would like and just to see a, a little bit behind the scenes also of, uh, of what we're doing in terms of trying to get ready for a full on review video. So as we could take a look at here, um, all, all these guys will set you back around uh, you know, 25 or so dollars. Uh, Switch Plus, uh, oh, actually the uh, from least expensive to most expensive, we have the Metropolitan comes in about, uh, depending upon where you could get it from, but we have them on sale. Uh, these are retail about $23, but we sell them for a, a Approximately eighteen, I believe, seventeen, eighteen dollars. Not hundred percent certain at this moment, but the Switch Plus is retail for twenty five, and we have them on sale for nineteen ninety uh, ninety five. The uh, Caveco Sport, depending upon the model finish that you have, uh, these the 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 classic uh, resin type barrels here. These will be about uh, twenty five retail. Um, then we have the. Uh, Lamy Safari, which would be at $37 retail, which we have on, on sale as well uh, on the website, which brings it down a little bit more. But in looking at the overall size, and we can maybe get a little bit closer here to take a look. The size of each of these here, we have the Safari comes in at being the longest with the cap posted. The uh, Caveco, being that it's, it is a pocket-sized pen, is very compact when closed, but then extends out to being a normal-sized fountain pen. We see that the uh, online Switch Plus does come in uh, similarly sized, just not maybe about like a maybe like an eighth or or in a quarter of an inch shorter with the cap posted. And then we have the Metropolitan kind of a, coming in a little bit. Uh, a little bit smaller than the online Switch Plus. Um, one of the things to note here versus the Safari is that both of them do have a molded grip, a contoured grip. The Safari has the um, has a, a like a rounded uh, bottom. The Switch Plus actually also has a part for your uh, other finger, or I guess your middle finger, to go underneath and rest underneath as well, which is kind of a, a cool little neat feature. I think it's a bit more ergonomic in that sense. The uh, Safari, being that it's all uh, plastic, the Switch Plus does also come mostly in plastic, but does have the texturized uh, matted grip section, which makes it a bit easier to hold, and also has a matted cap as well. And you see that the clips are very similar with that wire design. The branding is a little bit more uh, visible on the online here, being that it's put right at the top of the cap. Let's see, closed here. Uh, both have a German-made stainless steel nib. So they got that going for them. The Metropolitan, of course, Japanese-made stainless steel. And the Metropolitan, uh, as some of you may be aware, the is is built out of aluminum it's a bit more of a heavier pen when comparing uh, when comparing them to the other plastic pens here people like that a lot so uh looking at them capped very similar the uh switch plus does come in a bit longer capped and i'll tell you what the reason for that being is that the switch plus has a capacitive touch stylus on the 
bottom of the barrel here. So even you could even see that it was temp it was per it was it was thoughtfully designed around that because you have there's like two grippy sections here. They're they're not molded, but they're textured so that it would be easier for you to be able to hold this part of the pen, being that it's kind of got like a metallic coating on there. So you could hold this part of the pen and be able to do your touchscreen stuff on um, uh, on this section here. Also, note that the ink window for the Safari is there as a cutout. The Switch Plus has an ink window, but it, it is a um, it actually has like a I guess like a plastic kind of a window that's here. It's not uh, it's not budging here when I put my finger on it, but it is like a plastic window that you could see through. Um, right now, I have a um, international size ink cartridge. I can't remember which color it was I put in there, but this does take um, international size ink cartridges or an international converter as well. It's a little bit scary when you first do get the um, the packaging for the online Switch Plus because it does have a cartridge that looks like this, which at first blush seems like it's a Lamy cartridge, but it really isn't because you plug in this end and there's an arrow here. So if you got, if you guys are looking at this for the first time, you might be thinking, oh, it plugs in over this way, but it really doesn't. It plugs in over here and it has an arrow to sh tell you plug it in. Um, but this may scare you because you're like, well, now I have to get online cartridges and I don't want to invest in getting proprietary cartridges. I want to be able to use something I already have. So you can, and this that's the great news about about this is that you can use an international size ink cartridge. I've had this inked uh, for a few days, so I know that it's not, um, it's, it hasn't been leaking or anything. The fit is pretty good. Same deal with an international converter, like a, a Kaveco converter that you would use for the Dia uh, styles that are the, the, you know, the regular three inch size converter. Um, I think they, they think they typically call them a Schmidt K5 converter. So that would be uh, adaptable to use on there. And, uh, you know, looking at it, let's say, with the caps off here. Now, let's see if I could get them all to behave while not moving around so much. So cap off. You see that the Switch Plus is still in the lead in terms of its size for the barrel. I have the Safari coming in second, Metropolitan in third, and then the Kaveco being the, the short little stubby guy there is in fourth place. So in terms of it being a solid everyday sort of starter pen, I really do think that the Switch Plus has a lot of benefit, especially to those that are of the younger uh, younger generations that would be heavily reliant on the digital technology. The stylus is pretty handy. It works well in drawing applications to be able to use that. Um, so you could actually can, you know, as the name applies, switch it from being a traditional fountain pen to a uh, touch screen stylus. So uh, without, uh, let's see, uh, the, I think pretty much I just wanted to kind of do a little test here. So, um, you know, that pretty much covers just a, a small comparison. If you guys have any questions about these pens, uh, particularly about the Switch Plus, uh, we are going to be doing a full review on the Switch Plus. I wanted to do like an unboxing, writing sample, and uh, and what have you. So if you have any questions, um, uh, please, please feel free to leave them in a comment below. And uh, also subscribe to our channel for more awesome pen videos. Uh, and then also, too, is if you have any questions directly for me, you can always email me at tom at goldspot.com. Thanks. Have a great day, guys. Now I have to figure out how to close this off. <laughs> sure, want to start with screen. Okay.